Hey, today we're going to get around to reviewing our little Garmin 66W dash cam. It's little. <laughs> about this little. More about that coming up right, right after, after this. this. And we're in sync. Again. everybody we are going to do the a short review probably not so short knowing how we do uh, this is our Garmin 66w dash cam that we purchased about a month ago and uh, we've had it in the truck now for about a week purchased it <laughs> used it <laughs> using it and used it and uh, we push purchased it put it in the truck I did a video about that last week well last month and uh, and then we went home. And, and the did. videos weren't very interesting because all you could see was the front of our garage. Yeah, for, <laughs> for three straight weeks, the front of our garage is all that we got to see on this. Uh, so, But we've been out this week. We've been using it a little bit. Uh, fortunately, we haven't really had to use it as a dash cam simply because we haven't been in an accident or we haven't had any close calls. Um, but anyway, this is the little Garmin dash cam. We have it mounted up into the windshield. Uh, it's got a little... Uh, <laughs> just took a picture. Anyway, uh, it's got a, a little small screen on the back. You can probably see that a little bit. Uh, it is voice controlled, activated, so if you need to save a video, I can go, okay, Garmin, and a little thing shows up. Take a picture. Hey, look at that, a picture of us. Uh, okay, Garmin, but you can do a video, and there's a what they call a travel lapse, <laughs> which should save a video again. <laughs> um, but anyway, you control it through the back screen here. Um, and uh, they have a feature called, I'm going to put this down, you know, it's so heavy. Uh, Watch <laughs> out. <laughs> but, you uh, may break your arm. Yeah. It has a, a, a feature called travel lapse where it basically takes a picture about every second and then it sort of strings them together into like a, you know, time lapse video. Um, I've looked at those and they're sort of okay and actually we're going to have some video samples later on in the video. Um, but and that's one of the things that we'll we'll look at. Well, one of the things you were looking at too is whether you know where we have it positioned in the truck too, and how right. that was going to look. And we weren't really for certain when we put it in if that's where we wanted it at because it's up in the windshield. And one thing you're going to have to sort of overlook: we have the original windshields in this truck. They're five years old. There's seven hundred fifty-five thousand miles on them. So they're a little scratched up and they're a little chipped up. And Especially so, when you're heading into the sun. Oh, it's and you terrible. You really notice it. Yeah. Um, we've, you know, we've never had to have one replaced, which is so weird. Again. Uh, but anyway, so the video doesn't really look as clear as it would if you were in a, you know, a new truck uh, where you could see through. Or the a new windshield. Really yeah, the, <laughs> the windshield's not great at which, all. Which, speaking of which, we probably need to get that replaced here pretty soon. Just yeah. For um, the betterment of our eyes. I kept hoping somebody would crack it, but that hasn't happened. Let's not talk. Anyway, um, with the uh, the dash cam video itself, um, it's okay. Um, if I look at it, it, it does a pretty decent job of recording. Uh, it's supposed to be at least 1080p. Uh, I think it's actually supposed to be 1440p, which is just the amount of, of horizontal pixels. Um, I wasn't really that super impressed with it. Uh, it's not as clear as like the phone, the camera on the phone. Um, it's a little blurry and a little pixelated. Um, it could be. Of course, it is riding on the windshield better. and driving down the road That's too. True, <laughs> being stuck around all the time. Uh, but you'll see in some of the videos we have um, where we actually took one sitting here in the truck, and it actually photographed me and Judy as we were walking back to the truck. We stopped here and we took a shower and we came back, and you'll see. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to zoom in on it or not, but at 100% it looks pretty decent, but if you really zoom in on it, it's pretty pixelated, so it's not the highest quality camera. I was a little disappointed with that, um, but I guess, you know, it's not a, it's not a phone. <laughs> you know, the videos on these phones, which we're actually recording this on Judy's uh, iPhone XS Max yeah. uh, phone, and it does a really awesome job, uh, probably better than my Canon that I have in the truck that I've had for, I don't know, eight years. Um, so anyway, it's just amazing, but I was a little disappointed in the quality of the video. Now, as far as it recording and uh, following your voice commands, it does a really good job of doing that. Um, 
we've had it actually record two instances of where it has a, a um, shock detector in it, I guess. Basically, it's supposed to uh, record video uh, if you were to hit a car or someone were to hit you. Well, there's been twice where we've hit a big bump, which, you know, surprisingly happened. Lovely in, roads. I wonder if that was in Indiana. I think it was actually in Nashville. Oh, it was in Nashville. Yeah, hmm. so, but uh, it actually went off. And so we, and you can see in the video, there's a huge bump. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, the truck shakes all over the place. Well, this thing recorded the video. How these things work is this is continuously recording video on uh, a micro SD card that fits right here. In this tiny slot. Uh, when we first got the camera, um, it does not come. The 66W does not come with an SD card. You have to purchase that separately. Um, the SD card not included. Yeah. <laughs> it's like batteries. Um, the older version, the 65W, the one that this replaced, actually did come with an SD card, but this one does not. Um, so I had a, uh, a card in the truck that I had in uh, one of my older phones. And so it worked, and then we ended up purchasing a 128 gigabyte card. We wanted um, a little bit. Yeah, more we wanted it to gusto. be able to record more. Surprisingly, it, it seems like it only records about four and a half, five hours, and then it will it loops. So it's just continuously recording those files, and uh, if you want to save it, you can either say OK Garmin and save video, which my battery's dead now. So not plugged in. <laughs> it's not plugged in. Yeah, we keep this plugged in. It runs off the uh, cable that I've run down to our uh, little inverter that we've got up front, and it keeps it charged. When you save the files, uh, if not, it writes over them. And like I said, it uh, each little file is a minute long, and then it seems for about four and a half hours, and then it'll overwrite the files. So uh, if you just say, you know, save video, okay, Garmin, save video. If there's something happened, someone cut in front of you and you wanted to save that, what it will do is actually, it's already recording, but it just goes back and saves like a minute and a half of that time frame. So like a minute before you say, okay, Garmin, it's already recorded that, it will save that little chunk of video. Um, who knew? So, who knew? So that's how they work. Um, so it's continuously recording all the time. So that's like I said, when we were at the house, we had three weeks of our garage door. So, Probably it, saw some spiders. And yeah, stuff, yeah little like rain, that. darkness, lightness, all that stuff. <laughs> um, the travel lapse feature on here, you can say, okay, Garmin, start travel lapse. And what it will do, it will go through and record one video picture about every, I think it's every second, and then it will string those together. And uh, we'll sh I'll show you an example of that, too. Um, it's it's okay, but it's very choppy, so you can't really get any detail. It looks sort of neat if you just like string it together. I tried to slow it down to half speed. It's just choppy. Uh, it's not like the uh, time lapse you have on your phone, like you know you can take a picture and it'll it'll record. Those are recorded a lot closer together, so this doesn't really even look like a moving picture. It's sort of choppy, but you'll see from the examples. Um, other than that, as far as we can tell, it's working. Uh, uh, you know, it, it's it's responsive when you tell it to do something. It does it. Uh, it's we have not had any problems with uh, corrupt files or anything. One thing they do recommend that you actually take the card and format it, and you do that in. There's a facility inside the actual dash cam itself. You go through a couple menus, and you format the card. They recommend that you do that like every week or two. Um, it's just continuously maintenance writing. Maintenance for your yeah. dash cam. So what maintenance happens, for the truck. <laughs> it writes to that card continuously, and eventually it'll goof up. So just, you know, every couple of weeks, take it down, format that card. You'll start from scratch. It will erase everything on the card. There are a couple ways to get to the files on this. Um, there is an app that we have downloaded on my phone. It's not going to work because my battery's dead. Your but it's called on. Garmin Drive, uh, and it will connect wirelessly through Bluetooth, I believe, uh, through here. Let's see if I can get it to work. Um, and you can actually view the files that are on your phone or, or, or on the dash cam. The only bad part about it is if you do that, you can actually look at the feed that actually comes through this. Um, so you can actually be looking at your phone and seeing what's going on on your dash cam. 
the only bad thing, there we go, I can actually hit review footage and then it will log into the phone itself. Now the only bad thing is while I'm doing this it is not recording. So while I'm able to look at files on the phone, and you can see it says low battery, but here are the actual files that are actually on my phone. So if I wanted to, I can actually call this up, maybe, and uh, it will play. It's very slow, and it's pretty laggy. Uh, so the videos that you're going to see are not really that great. Uh, but when you do download them, um, you can either download it to your phone through this app, or it comes with a, a separate USB cable that connects right here uh, and then that can connect into your laptop and you can download the files off the card directly onto your laptop which is what I've done uh, and see I think it shut off it works via Wi-Fi it sets up a small Wi-Fi network with your phone and this card and the, the dash cam itself so it, it's pretty neat but really um, you know you can't use the app while you're using the dash cam um, it stops recording. Um, so I don't know if that's a plus or a minus. I guess if you were setting and you just wanted to go back and find something that would be okay. Uh, you definitely couldn't have, you know, your passenger couldn't be looking at your phone while you're driving and, and looking at the dash cam, looking at something. Because Unless something would, happens in yeah, front of you. <laughs> something would happen in front Fine. of you. So, you know, you got to keep that in mind. So you can't use the app while you're trying to use the dash cam functionality. Um, it actually works pretty decent. <coughs> the uh, the app itself, like I said, it's a little laggy, a little slow, um, but you know, but you know, with 128 gigabytes of um, files on the phone on here, you're not going to want to download all of that to your phone. So uh, when I connect it up through my USB cable, it just sees it as another drive, and then you can directly access the files. They downloaded pretty quickly to my laptop. Uh, they're just in your standard. I think it's a VCIM folder that shows up under, this comes up as an E drive on my uh, Windows laptop. I have no idea what would happen on a Mac. Uh, I imagine it would probably find it. Um, probably the same way. <laughs> probably the same way, but I have no idea since I have a PC. And I've had a PC for years and years. All right. Let's see. Oh, we'll, we'll jump right through that. Yeah, we used to work, move on. We used to work in education. <laughs> they were everywhere. Yeah, that was that was many years ago. So anyway, uh, this has worked pretty well. It's done everything that we've wanted it to do. I sort of like the way that it's positioned in the dash. It gives us a good view from, you can actually, if you zoom in, you can see my spot mirrors. Um, the, the left hand one in front of the driver's seat, you can actually see into that. And you can see into the passenger side also. So th the field of view of this is supposedly 180 degrees. So it can see from side all the way to side. And you can see, you'll see in the sample video, uh, it's a really wide field of view. One downside about that is everything looks really far away. <laughs> so it's like those, uh, you know, the little messages you used to have on the mirrors that said objects in mirror may be closer than they appear. <laughs> well, that's true for this. This is like a fisheye lens almost. Um, but you can see the cars uh, as they come up from the side of you. You can see the very front of the car when it comes up, it's distorted, uh, but that's just the nature of having a wide angle lens. But like I said, you can look out into those uh, spot mirrors if you zoom in. So if there is a car coming, you'll see it come up. Um, and then anything in front of the windshield basically is in play. Our truck is a Freightliner Cascadia. There is a center pillar to the windshield. So it shows up on the video as a big black thing <coughs> that's there excuse me and also anything we have sitting up on top of the dash yes. which we tend to have our little snack bowl on top of the dash it's reflected into the window yeah, so you might see some reflections of things in our separate videos you're going to see a paper bowl <laughs> it's sitting on our dash um, and you can actually see that as a reflection in the windshield I guess that's another sort of disadvantage uh, you know, well, that's, I think with anything, you're going to see that. I see that when I'm driving down the road. It's right. like, move that. But There's a reflection you in know, the really, this is not designed to be putting footage on YouTube. You know, I, I see people on YouTube that, you know, that take videos of just them traveling down the highway, and they'll put them out there. You could do that with this, but um, just be aware that, you know, things show up that are unintended. And this has such a wide field of view 
that stuff is pretty distorted uh, in front of you and especially to the sides uh, you'll be able to see the visor that goes across sort of in an arc uh, in front of our truck and you can see the top of the hood uh, but you can you know it's and not some the of this you may be talking about over top of the videos too yeah you know, when you get to the video and you see it yeah. you might I'll try to that. describe it a little bit more so anyway um, I guess give it a tentative thumbs up so far so good so far so good and we'll see so um, we'll play some of the uh, sample videos now and I'll probably talk over a little bit of them and then we'll come back at the end and we'll say good night so here we go okay this first clip is just us normal driving and you can see where we were talking earlier about the Sun uh, really causing a nasty glare and you can see our little bowl sitting there in the window uh, this is just us driving into Durham, North Carolina uh, this morning, and uh, we just pulled it right directly off the dash cam. As you can see, it does a pretty good job, but that glare really, really cuts into it. There's really nothing I can do on the windshield. Uh, it's just got too many pits and everything in it. Uh, this is what I was talking here about the quality. We're going to zoom in here just a little bit, uh, and you can see the quality will start to go. This is zoomed in about 200%, and as you can see, the pixelation starts there. Um, it still looks okay, but you know, there's no way you can read a license plate from this. So, uh, like, like I said, I was just a little disappointed with the quality of this. Uh, I don't really think it's as high a quality as, as what I was expecting. This is uh, a night recording. Uh, this we recorded the other night as Judy was driving into Nashville. Uh, I think this was Monday night. And you can see it does a pretty decent job. Uh, for being at night, I was sort of surprised. It uh, shows up pretty decent detail. Um, I don't know if you can still, you know, be able to see the license plates on the cars, but uh, if you stop it, you can actually read the uh, road signs. And, of course, at night you don't have nearly as much light as you normally would, and so it just uh, makes things a little bit harder to see. But I think it does a pretty decent job at night. Um, you know, probably not as, as obviously as, as good a picture as you were going to get during the daytime. And if you were out in the country, you know, you would just basically have the headlights. But as you can see, it does a pretty good job. Uh, the next clip here in just a minute is going to be the, uh, what they call travel lapse or the hypolapse. And, uh, we also took this at night. This is a little dizzying. This is actually Judy's drive into Dayton, Ohio the other night. Uh, again at night it doesn't look too bad but this is actually taking like an image every second and then it just sort of throws it together so uh, you know if you stop it you can look at each individual picture uh, but as you can see it's just sort of a, a montage I guess of everything that's thrown together um, useful but uh, you know not really that smooth um, and this is a picture of us this is without the Sun uh, this actually shows uh, us pulling into the Petro here in Kenley, North Carolina. Uh, if you look down at the very bottom of the screen, uh, this is actually the feed from the Garmin itself. Uh, you can see it, it lists the date and the time. Also, it will actually put in the uh, GPS coordinates and it will also show the miles per hour. Uh, so, uh, here we are turning into the Petro. I think it does a really good job when we're not looking into the sun. It's a decent picture. The quality's not too bad, um, so if you ever were in an accident or anything, uh, the camera records your GPS location, your speed, the time, so you would have all the information that you would need uh, to show the police if something happened, you can prove where you're at, how fast you were going. Uh, of course, just make sure you're not breaking the law. <coughs> this next series of clips is after we were parked at Kenley. And I want to show you the quality of this. About every 10 seconds, we're going to zoom in another 25%. Um, and you can start to see it'll start to pixelate a little bit. Um, this is just a live video. Um, and towards the end, you'll see Judy and I walk out to the truck. So this here is 150%. Um, and like I said, it will record you know, continuously. So we went in and took showers. And uh, of course, it sat here and recorded for most of the afternoon. This is 175%. Still doesn't look too bad. Um, I think it does a pretty decent job. And then this is 200%. And you can see Judy and I walking back to the truck. And then the last one's going to zoom all the way into 400%. You can see it's pixelated. 
um, here. But I think you would be able to recognize someone uh, if you had, you know, they somebody did something to your truck. And then this is back out to the full picture. So that's it for the sample video, and we'll see you next time. Well, there you have it, folks. Yep, that's all there is. <laughs> we hope we enjoyed the uh, sample videos that we put out there. Uh, we hope to probably have a full review somewhere down the road after we actually use this thing for maybe two or three months uh, to see if we run into any problems, see if there's any problems with the cards or the images or it just dying on us. But so far, so good. So like I said, a tentative thumbs up from us. And uh, we'll go forward with that. So if you like and would like to see more videos like this, <laughs> please like our video, uh, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to ring the ring notification, that bell. notification bell. And we'll see you all in the next video. So long, everybody. Good night. <laughs>